booking in RMS is easy. You simply go to Charts, Booking Chart, and then select the date range of the booking you're going to make. I'm going to make a booking from the 28th of October, so this date just here. The chart should automatically default to today's date. For example, today is the 29th of September, so the 29th of September is the default date on the chart. So I can see all the days in advance. I'm going to hit the calendar here and bring it to the 27th. Okay, so now I've changed the date and the 27th of October is the first date on my chart. There's two ways you can make a booking. One, you can select on the room type. So this time it's going to be 6320 two bedroom apartment. You can select and then hit add reservation. The other option you can do is select and hold down for the number of nights you'd like to book. So this is going to be a four night booking in room 6320, two bedroom. I hit add reservation and then I begin. The RMS reservation screen is broken down into three key sections. The first section, the client details section, is all about the guest. It will come up every time that guest stays. The middle column is all about the reservation details. It's the arrival, the departure and the prices. If you put any notes down the bottom of the reservation details screen, they'll only come up for that booking. If you put notes down the bottom of the client details screen, they'll come up every time that guest stays. The third column here is the accounts details screen. You can't touch anything in that accounts details screen until you've saved the reservation below. And you can't save the reservation below until you've filled out all the blue fields within the reservation client details and reservation details. So to start with, we're going to put this booking in under my name. All bookings should have a surname. So this is going to be my name and then I'm going to put my given name in there as well. This white screen on the right hand side is a smart search screen. Anything with the LRO next to it over here will come up in the smart search screen if they recognize the details. So I'm not in here. I haven't stayed here before so my details haven't come up in the smart search screen. I then keep going down and only fill the fields in that are blue because blue fields are mandatory or the fields that I want the information kept in. So I want my information kept in here. When I type in the town, I only type in part the names and it will give me every name, every name of a town that's similar. So I'm from Yarrawonga, Victoria. I'll select that. The state and the postcode are automatically filled in. My mobile number is a mandatory field, so I ensure that that one is filled in. If by chance I didn't have a mobile number, I can just put one single digit in there and it will allow me to save. Mobile number is also a smart search screen. So if I had stayed before or a guest with the same phone number would stay before, their name would pop up on the right hand side. To move up and down the columns, I can either use my arrow key, my tab key or select it with my mouse. I certainly recommend that as many people as possible put in email addresses. Email addresses are a great database to pull from and they're also really handy if they want a receipt for their deposit or so you can send correspondence to find out how their stay is and get feedback. Okay, so we filled out all the client details column and I'm going to make a note down the bottom to say that I'm the RMS trainer in case I come back and somebody else checks me in. Just gives them a little bit more knowledge about me and helps with your customer service. The middle column is all about the client reservation. So the arrival date is Tuesday the 27th of October. The guests here for four nights, so they're leaving on Saturday the 31st. If this booking changes, you can simply change the number of nights or you can change the arrival and departure dates by just selecting on the arrow next to it. The next field is adults. So your price is set up so it judges the price based on the number of adults and the number of children. I've chosen a two bedroom apartment which will have two adults and two children. So that a price can be generated for this booking, you need to actually select a tariff type. 
I'm going to choose my standard rate. It then fills in that it's $180 a night and the deposit that I'm required to take is $432. I can't actually edit anything on that screen just yet because I haven't saved the booking. And it won't let me save the booking because I haven't filled out the last two mandatory fields, booking source and reservation by. So the booking source is used for your marketing report and you should select a field every time a booking is made. You can add as many different fields in as booking sources as you like. So for example, if you advertise in the Herald Sun, the Herald Sun would be a booking source. If you get a lot of traffic from your website, you should ask your guest, how'd you find me? And fill it in in the booking source there. Resby just needs an initial next to it so they know who made the booking. I can then save the booking and it now keeps it into the system. Once I've saved the booking, it also allows me to click things on my right hand side. So for example, if I quoted them a cheaper price than the 180, I could go down here and change it. So I'm actually going to give them a price of 1,380. So I simply type in 1380 and hit OK and it then recalculates the price. If the guest has paid a deposit, you simply hit the ECOM button and then go in and receipt the payment. So receipt, choose the payment type cash, check, direct deposit into your bank account from the FPOS machine or journal. So the FPOS machine, you actually have to select a card type. So I'm going to pay a $700 deposit. So I type in $700. And then all I need is a card type. I don't have to type in all the numbers. So $700 via Visa card. I then have the option, do I want to print a receipt? Do I want to email a receipt to the guest? Do I want to print an, email, an invoice? Email an invoice or no action at all? In this instance, they don't want a copy of the receipt, so I'm going to leave it as no action at all and process the payment. Now this now comes up as a green line that says F plus receipt of $700. If I exit out of my account screen, it will then show me that the, the account is in minus $700. And that means that they've actually paid a deposit. The charges don't go on the account until the reservation's checked in. Once the guest arrives, you simply check in the booking the charge will be posted and it will show you what balance remains. When the guest leaves, you need to ensure that all bookings are checked out. Once you're finished with the booking, always remember to save and exit. And now we'll be able to see that booking flashing in yellow because it's the last booking we've seen at the screen. If we want to get that booking chart back to today, we simply hit the exit button, go back to our booking chart icon here, or charts and booking chart, and it will take us straight back to today. That's a brief overview of how to make a booking in RMS. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.